Tyler, the plow guy here, coming to you today to talk about John Deere plow bottoms and how they attach to the beam or the trip mechanism. In this case, we are removing, <clears throat> removing a conventional plow bottom. It's an MP312 series bottom, which means it is the blacksmith or conventional plow bottom noted by the plow shear attaches with this eye bolt and it has a one piece moldboard if we can walk around. Newer plow bottoms have a shin piece that's replaceable here, the leading edge of the moldboard. This, however, does not. This is all one piece. So that's a conventional plow bottom. But back around here, before we get too sidetracked, this bottom attaches to the plow beam with these four bolts. There's two 5 8 bolts and two half inch bolts. The 5 8 bolts typically only go through the frog or maybe a bracket like this for the rolling land side or tail wheel. Uh, but the half inch bolts, those two typically go through the frog and the land side, which is this piece. So just something to be aware of. Um, I've already removed the bolts or the nuts from these. And with the help of a hammer, uh, a lot of times it'll be soil and rust impacted in around these bolt holes where they go through the plow frame or beam or the trip standard, which is on newer plows. Uh, a lot of times just sledgehammers, right? Hammer impact to the outside or using a pneumatic air hammer can help vibrate the, the rust and the grime loose to get those bolts out. Once the bolts are out, it just simply slips off. So hopefully you found this helpful.